Chris. And I'm Cynthia. And we're the Hanya family. And for those of you that are new here, welcome and let's enjoy some great music together. All right. So what do we have for the Goonies today? Well, it's Saturday, so we're going to do our Canadian content today. I'm really happy because I found a guy who I've never heard of before, Mm -hmm. and he's from Vancouver. Vancouver. And apparently he's a blues man. He is. Yeah. From what I've heard so far. Yeah. So I'm excited because it's it sounded so good from the first little couple seconds or so that we put on. Yeah. And it's different. Well, uh, yeah, it's very interesting for sure. Um, I only heard a few seconds myself. Yes. Because, you know, I wanted to hear it too. So his name's Jesse Roper. Yep. And the song is called Way Down in the Valley. Way Down in the Valley. Yeah. That sounds bluesy all by itself. I wonder which valley. <laughs> you might know one of them. Yes, a lot of, because all the work have, you do with the RV company. Yes, I have customers that are in Vancouver area all the time. Yeah. So, I mean, it could be a valley that my customers go to all the time. That's true. Yeah. wonder which valley you're talking about. <laughs> maybe we'll have to ask him one day. Yeah, maybe. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, in the meantime, we're going to listen to one of his songs. This is Jesse Roper with Way Down in the Valley. This is so fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Back what a great shot. energy. <laughs> That's funny. What a fantastic energy though. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I can hear definite uh, band influences. Yeah. Like the band. Yeah, definitely. For sure. Maybe it's Okanagan Valley. Maybe. I don't know for sure. Way but anyway, <laughs> this is so much fun to listen to. His vocal's fantastic. Yeah, he's a great it's singer. It's just great. I love that tiny guitar he's got. In. Yeah, and it gets a lot of use by the look of it. Yeah, Did you for notice? Sure, for sure. Yeah. Probably his favorite guitar or something like that. I love this little box, the percussion box, whatever they call that. Yeah. I've seen those in the uh, over at Long McQuaid. Uh, yeah. That's a 
national music store. I don't know what they call it, but I was just calling it a percussion box because that's what it's used for. Essentially. I have no idea exactly what it's called. Yeah. I saw, I first started seeing these in the early 2000s. Um, Nora Jones's um, drummer had one of these for a couple of performances that I saw. That makes sense for that style. Yeah, for sure. Because it's very similar to this style, actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a couple of songs, even in studio, where they're using the box instead of a drum kit. Yeah. Like, I mean, it just gives you a different feel. Yeah. Almost like a, one of those jug band feels. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like uh, the song Sunrise, Nora Jones. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure it's just one of those boxes. I think so. Yeah. Mm. Love that song. But this is wonderful so far. We should get back to it. Yeah. That's why I say, huh? Whatever the world wanna do with yourself, and every the time gonna reveal itself. Oh, I'm gonna live with my baby there, and yeah, I'm gonna love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna love. Whoa, 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 whoa. yes, I'm gonna love. That's a cute way to end it. It was produced by East Coast Pete. Okay. That's what it said. <laughs> Would that have been on the East Coast? No, I don't know, actually. East but Coast Pete. Possibly, but I mean, obviously, he's from Vancouver. That's so. true. Well, it was a live performance in some house somewhere. Yeah. But I it mean, might have been, it, it might have been Doketown, who knows? It could have been anywhere in the woods in Vancouver, <laughs> Look, in the woods down east, who it, knows? It, it looked like Doketown for a moment. <laughs> but then so does the valley and well, the true. Okanagan There's area. There's plenty of forest in the west, but yeah, that yes. definitely, the, the trees and stuff, the foliage looked like some down east place in the middle of the woods. It could have been some BC place in the middle of the woods, though. This is true. This is true. <laughs> There's so many middle of the woods in Canada. It's so funny. There's a lot of woods here. Yes. For sure. Unfortunately, in BC, a lot of them burn. A lot of it burns down every year. But this is true. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not too much of that for the rest of my season, I hope. Yeah. Well, it I mean, seems to have calmed for the moment. It, it's more prevalent in the summer, like in the early summer. It still, it still gets bad this I time know. of year. It can, for sure, it especially does. when the weather <laughs> changes over. Like you get that, uh, you know, uh, what they call the, the Indian summer. Is it, They're is it having is? it right now. Yeah. So yeah. it just gets suddenly warm. We're going to have that September. later in the week. 
<laughs> yeah, who knows what will happen. Yeah. But uh, well, so far, it seems to be under a little bit more control. Here it is. Mm. In, in Here in Ontario, the temperatures have cooled quite a bit, but they're going to be hot again by the end of the week. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that work. He can really pick. That guitar work was incredible. It was really well done, for sure. The guy, oh, mandolin, right? Sorry, mm. no. The guy on the little bass thing. It's a bass. It's a bass. It is a bass. Yeah. I thought about it for a second. I was like, wait, bass. It's a bass. Yes. It's just a really little bass. It's a kind of a Tillman. Um, I forget what, there's Paul a McCartney, name for those, Paul right? Paul McCartney used to use ones like that. I don't know if that's the same name. Um his was, I think, a Rickenbacker. Oh, right. Now, I yeah. don't know if it's the same name brand. I don't but know. But it definitely looks like that. Yeah, but that bass player was even obsessed with how well that guy was playing. Did oh, you sure. notice that? Oh, yeah, he was having a ball. A great and big when smile he, and watching him play. Yeah, and when he started great. doing the repeats, he repeated with him. Yeah, know, of course. Oh. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. This was really well done. I'm glad we checked this out today and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. It's good fun. Yes. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. You'll find the link in the description of all of our videos. Mm -hmm. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our Goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click the notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later.